Howdy y'all, Riggs here, and we're back with Rigged Line Haul. Uh, we, as you remember in the last video or episode, we uh, loaded up this trailer full of house prefabs, and we are taking it to Ontario, Oregon. So, uh, let's just pull this out, and before we do that, we'll just start the motor and uh, waste some uh, fuel, which we will need to pick up at some point. Uh, okay, so we have a rest stop in about 8 hours and 45 minutes. We have 24 hours, well, one minute less than, than that to uh, do the job, and it will take us uh, roughly six, seven hours in game to arrive at our destination. <sighs> so, with that being said, now we can pull this sucker out, uh, and it's going to be a tight corner, a very tight corner. Oh, that was close. I'm sure that was close, but we got it. I didn't feel bump anything. And there's uh, the trailer setup we just brought in. Triple. That actually went a lot better than I thought it would. I'm not gonna lie. Now, is that a residential neighborhood off to our right? No, I don't believe it is. I think we're good. Don't care, I'm pulling out. Oh, mama. <laughs> All right. We're alive. It's okay. We missed that green rig by a long shot. Or he missed us. I don't know which is which. Y'all make the decision on that. He missed us or we miss him. Now, I forgot to look at our route. Since we're on a straight stretch, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, okay, so we do have fuel uh, just up the road here. Uh, I mean, I'd rather stop here, but that's kind of out of the way at the moment. We could have gone around this way and back, um, but no. So we'll uh, stop here for fuel and then carry on the way and ho hopefully get up to uh, Wow, we're going to unlock burns on this run. And Ontario is right on the uh, Oregon-Idaho border. In fact, most of it's in Idaho. Or is that Boise? No, no, no. This is Ontario. I would say it's actually in Idaho, not Oregon. I actually don't know the area. So, uh, let me know in the comments where Ontario actually is. Is it on in Oregon or is it in Idaho let me know it would actually solve uh, an issue in my head all right moving on uh, oh I think in the last episode I did say I wasn't gonna unlock every road but I do want to hit every town on the map now we don't know what order that's gonna be uh, or where it's gonna go we're just going to do what we do, but one of the first trips we're going to do is uh, across Canada to right from my home city of Calgary, Alberta. And I do want to go as far east as we can, which uh, looks like Halifax right there. And if the map makers are watching this, which I don't think they are, uh, can y'all put in Labrador, well, other than Labrador City and uh, New, uh, Newfoundland here, like St. John, maybe Gander Bay? Or Gander, sorry. Uh, and then Charlottetown in PEI. We need to have that in there. Maybe a couple of villages. Uh, but we at least need Charlottetown. Uh, I think there's a nice big bridge that goes over there. And what I don't get is this Highway 1 marker. So maybe there is a bridge. Maybe it's something that they're planning here. Uh, there's the six, Highway 16 marker. and Who knows. So anyways... Uh, back to our route here so we're uh heading over towards lakeview 
Gonna cut through Lakeview. We I don't know if we're gonna hit it enough to oh yeah we will. We'll unlock Lakeview. Uh and then Burns, uh which again will unlock Burns and then from Burns across to Ontario. Huh. Now there is a, a garage right here. Um uh, or a sh is it a garage or a shop? That is just a garage. Oh, and a Bible one right there, too. That's cool. Um, and then Burns, is there anything we need to stop for? We're going to drive by another garage right there. Uh, but no truck shops. Okay. Oh, wait wait a minute. No, this is another garage. Oh, all right. I think every town probably has a place where you can repair your truck. Except for Klamath Falls. All right, now moving back on the road. We spent way too long in the map. That plane, man, that, I mean, did they like land in this field and crash into the fence? Seriously. I saw something, or did I? Nope, it was just a piece of the sign. Creeping forward. Okay, stop. <laughs> now that trailer looks awesome. Oh yeah. Mostly because of the amount of blue on there. <laughs> Y'all know I like the color blue. They got my blue dash, you know, blue, blue and white truck, mostly blue, bluish Mustang. I don't like that color of blue. That's not my kind of blue. You know, I'll bet you if we're going fast enough, we hit this little uh, bump in the road here, we might be able to get airtime. We're not going fast enough though. Seriously, who put the satellites here? I have a green light, please. Please. Give me a green light. I said please. <sighs> then we can inch it. No, I don't want the ticket. We've gotten a few too many tickets in the last few episodes. Now, are we even going to make it through? The vehicle behind us is going to make it through. Yeah, they're coming. Oh, they're turning. And another satellite right here. Give me a green, give me a green, give me a green, give me a green, 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 green. Uh, ooh, tacos. I, want, uh, I mean, I wish I could, like, you know, stop at, you know, restaurants and go in, have a meal. Cause you know I could really go for some really good Mexican food right right about now. That reminds me, uh, coming up on almost a year ago, I was down down to, in uh, Dallas, Texas, for a seminar, and I hooked up with a couple of guys down there, and we ended up going to, in my opinion, the worst me worst Mexican restaurant I or. Sorry, it wasn't the worst Mexican restaurant. The service was actually pretty decent. But it was the worst food I've ever eaten in my life. That was, I mean, as far as Mexican food goes. Now, I've had worse food than that, but that stuff tastes like crap. I don't think any one of the three of us finished our meals. I probably ate more than the other two because they were absolutely disgusted. See, I'm from Canada. I don't know what Mexican food really is. These two, one was from originally from Dallas, but lives in New Mexico, and the other is, was from uh, Arkansas. So they know a little bit more about Mexican food than me. And man, this area is beautiful. You know what? I'm just gonna stop it right here. I ah, right, we're back on the road.
And here we're doing fuel. Yeah, we definitely are going to have to stop at the fuel station, which is thankfully a couple corners away. Um, yeah, definitely got a few good screenshots there. Hopefully, yeah, they'll serve their purpose. Now, we definitely need to get some good trips in so we can upgrade this truck. Now, I definitely bought ourselves a truck a little bit too early. Um... I'm okay with it. We just gotta be very careful on what we choose to drive or haul. Uh, don't want to be doing anything too big. We're definitely over the limit there. Uh, we'll just coast that up. Besides, the uh, fuel station is coming up. And slow, wow, slow that down to 45. We're going down to 35. Wow, this must be a bad corner. Oh, yeah, that's a bad corner, all right. Down 25 for the corner. Are there cops sitting around there? Oh, we're in like a little village here. This is Bly, Oregon. Hello, Bly. <laughs> now, where is this fuel station at? There it is. That coming up on it. And what do you know? It's still a camera on. Really? I could. What? Yeah, the that says Chevron, but that one up there says Cameron. What's going on? I reinstalled to get real fuel station mod. All right, how much is this gonna cost us? Four hundred and thirty bucks. Yeah. Well, oh, we still got over three hundred thousand. Now I can't believe I went and took out the biggest loan we could, but you know what? It may have been worth it. Just because. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, just because uh, we'll be able to upgrade the garage uh, when we need to. Now, if I actually were to go look at that right now, which I'm going to do. Going to the garage manager here. We have uh, one garage. It's tiny. We do not have room for any employees. So we actually, I'm not going to be buying another truck until we can at least hire an employee. So if we upgrade it, it's going to cost us $180,000. And it's going to give us two extra spaces. Crazy, huh? Um, and right now, we're doing $20,000. Or no, $12,000 uh, on average a day, uh, but profit the last seven days has uh, been pretty good. Now, let's uh, go back because actually, while we're here, uh, where is the uh, where is it? Bank, hey, now we I thought we could uh, take a look at our financial situation. <sighs> Anyways, we've got this paid down to, uh, by one day. We still got a lot left to repay. Yeah, $394,285 left to pay. Off of a $400,000 loan, and we're paying 12% interest per year, per annum. But I have a feeling it's going to take us a lot longer than that. Cause we're, but mind you, we're paying uh, per day, so 365, yeah, 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 I think we're good. Well, we won't hit the big interest rate. Anywho, um, let's get back on the road. Now we got a little bit more weight and... It's going to take us a little bit more to accelerate with all that extra fuel, but I'd rather be running with a full tank rather than an empty tank and, you know, run out of fuel. Oh, well, I could live there. I could live there happily.
no center, no center what? No passing, but it's dotted. <laughs> they must be repaving this road. Oh, man, this looks like another good spot for some screenshots, but I will hold off. I mean, I could use, you know, F12 like I do with uh, Mud Runner, but because there's a screenshot, like, thing within the game, it, it takes away that second mirror, uh, you can change your angle a lot easier, everything is paused for you, if you want to add blur or whatever, uh, it's all there for you. And then it saves in the exact same spot. So I figured just pause the recording and, you know, do my thing and then come back and start recording again. Just kind of makes sense doing it that way. Hello, Butler Transport. Would you mind picking up the pace just a little bit? You are 10 miles per hour below the limit. Don't tell me you're slowing down to 35. You are slowing down to 35. You're going slower than 35. Uh, here we go in Lakeview. Which is uh, currently under construction, y'all. Now I'm pretty sure that's a new community in town that they're developing. Obviously, Lakeview is a town on the rise. Or it's an old development that they haven't touched in 10 years. You know what? I'm going for it. Hello, ambulance. Good thing you're here. I almost needed you. Oh, that rig looked pretty good with that sun behind it and sitting beside that house. Yeah. How is this road 55 miles per hour limit? And why am I signaling? Whoa. Uh, there better not be no train coming because I'm going straight over. That's cool. Cool looking facility. Now apparently, uh, there's a new DLC coming out. I uh, don't know exactly when, but apparently it's going to be Montana. That's just the uh, consensus. Or not Montana, Washington State. Uh, I just said Montana, I don't know why just kind of slipped off my tongue, but yes, Washington State will be uh, apparently the next DLC. I mean, I was hoping for Texas. You know, we need Texas. But, uh, it ain't bad. The screenshots that, that I've seen, they work out pretty good, and I think I need a new gas station mod, seriously. Like, it fixes the signs, but not the buildings, you know? Alright, next step is 45. Uh, but yeah, Montana is where we're, uh, they're going next, and then maybe I'm They'll start coming east and maybe north up into Canada. I mean, right now I'm using the coast-to-coast uh, -coast mod in the Canada Dream mod. Uh, I've still been very hesitant on putting the links down in the description. Uh, just simply for the fact that you really have to be on top of keeping them updated. Now, it's not that I'm doing that all the time. Now, I haven't put on anything since I installed them. However, there hasn't been an update from the developers yet. 
So you really got to watch for that. And every time there's an update from the developers, you got to make sure that your maps are going to work and hope and cross your fingers. And if you have a safe game in place, oh, oh, I would not touch it until you, uh, until the modders put out an update for that specific map mod. Now, because I'm running two of them, and soon to be three, because I am going to add in the Mexico, uh, Mexican Dream, or Viva Mexico, I think it's called. I'm going to add that uh, map mod in here as well, but I want, I'm not going to do it until we're along the southern edge of the United States. Uh, maybe once we hit uh, Florida and start working our way back west, that's when I'll add in Mexico. Uh, again, don't know for sure when I'll be doing that, but I will before we are able to enter it. Now, it might not happen until we're uh, done exploring Texas because I plan on spending a little time in Texas. And we're going way below the limit. And this, uh, the sun just ain't right. Otherwise, I think this would be another spot I'd be stopping to get some more screenshots. But, uh, no, ain't happening. The uh, sun just ain't right. I have no idea what time it is in game. Oh, 8.55 p.m. Yeah. Come on, girl. Yeah, we need a bigger motor. Alright, got that coke truck. Then we'll catch up to that coke truck before the next town. I don't know. We might. Oh yeah, we got this. Unfortunately, because there's no passing lane right here. I think you need to drive a coke trailer with a red truck, honestly. Green just doesn't work. But then again, the driver's probably sitting in there saying, money is money. I mean, a black truck wouldn't be bad. But red, that's it, right? Now, I don't want to be stuck behind this guy going 20 miles per hour below the speed limit here. Oh, there better be a passing lane coming up very soon because I do not want to pass on the double solid if I don't have to. I mean, like I was trying to him on the shoulder and look at that. There is a passing lane here, but unfortunately there's traffic coming. We're going uphill, which means we're slowing down. That guy's not. And the other dude was going down the hill so fast the flames were, or his tires were on fire. Yeah, I haven't fixed that yet. I don't know what the problem is. So we're just going to have to pretend that they ain't there. Kind of hard to do when they're blazing red and glowing. See what I mean? They're everywhere. I think it might be the road textures, which I really enjoy these road textures. And I'm not going to take that mod out. Maybe if I tried reordering it, it might change something. So I might do that for the next episode. Now, are we going to be able to get a pass in here? No, there's an oncoming truck. But I just need to... Oh, man, there's a corner coming up. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Oh, this is insane, guys. I, uh, we should definitely not be doing that, but we are actually going to make it. Oh. And now we got to start slowing down. And now there's an oil tanker in front of us. Hopefully he is going in the direction we're not. Nope, he's going in the direction we're going.
Now, I'm hoping that once we get to Ontario, we'll be able to take a uh, trip over to on, uh, Montana. Because I have a plan for the episode after that. Uh, now, we've only been going for 25 minutes-ish. And we are currently three hours in-game away from our destination. So, we might have, like, because we're halfway there. But it's always that second half that just goes so quick. Uh, we will have to do a rest once we arrive. But if there's a job that gets us to where we want to go, oh, we're going to have to hook it up. And depending on the length of it, I might be doing a very short episode today. Uh, just trying to stick with that one trip per episode kind of mentality. Uh we'll see how it goes and see how it works for us but it seems to be working out pretty good so far if y'all want me to do a second one and maybe try and get up closer to an hour length I mean if, if, if and when that happens in the future you just comment below in today's video and uh, we'll take a look and see what we can do about that and this guy now is driving me bonkers with his glowing uh, red uh, hot wheels along with that gas tanker that's going ever so slow. You had to almost stop to merge. Oh, yeah. Where'd you learn to drive? Seriously. Yeah, I'm not getting out of this lane. All right, so as far as the Beaver State Achievement goes, we're 10 uh, out of 14. So only got four more to discover, but I think this may be the last time we see the state of Oregon. Now, I could be mistaken. We might be back, especially if I have to uh, put a map mod in or edit a map. Now, I really need to learn how to try to uh, ghost the vehicles or ghost our truck. To the spot where we left off if there is a map reset because I hate having to go back to the garage especially if we get across Canada and that happens oh oh I'll be spending a lot of time driving on my own time just to uh, get up to where we left off How's that for a quick corner? Uh, why are we still at 35? We're still in town? Sylvie's River. Huh. Cool. Great, we got a way station coming up. Are we gonna have to stop? Are we gonna have to stop? No, we ain't stopping. Ooh, lucky us. Bring on our high beam so we can see what we're doing here. That's cool. I like seeing those stores in the middle of uh, nowhere, you know what I mean? It just kind of brings that element of, ooh, cool. Let's stop there. Need a break, right?
well, we slow down to 50 and then we go up, wow, back up to 55 and I hit that brake a little bit too hard. That was a really stupid slow down moment. Yeah, don't flash me. Coast it out. Actually, we, yeah, we, we just got to coast it out. I thought we were going the right speed for a second. Uh, don't you move, FedEx truck. Are you not waiting to come out? Okay. Oh, no, we're, we're not. This is still our road. Do we have a corner coming up or is it an intersection turn or is it an actual corner? It's an actual corner. Cool bridge. Oh great, there's our first yawn. Now, how long until we need a rest stop? Two hours, two minutes. Once we get around this corner, I'll check our distance to our destination. 56 minutes, I think we're okay. into that guardrail. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. But we don't need it right now. Pay attention to the road. <laughs> and I'm totally speeding coming into town here. I like how the highway kind of goes around Two, set, two sides here. Reminds me of a couple places here in Alberta. Uh, one of them being Nanton. And the other, uh, I think Claire's Home? No, Claire's Home doesn't do that. Uh, but Nanton definitely does. And Fort McLeod. That's another place that needs to be on the map along with Lethbridge. And Red Deer. I mean, y'all put Houston, British Columbia in, but you didn't put Red Deer or Lethbridge or even Medicine Hat. Ah, shame on you. Yeah, I'm never going to forget that. And every time, I think I'm probably going to do a, a, a daily mention. Looks like a bit of a major intersection coming up. We'll just start signaling now. And yes, I will be nice to people. I won't blind them. Oh, 
Let's not go to the best, Kevin. Yeah, I really slowed y'all down, didn't I? <laughs> All right, moving over a lane. Safeway trucks, that's pretty cool. I think I don't know if we've seen them yet. Really? I thought he was moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will do that after we park this trailer. Because I happen to know that there is somewhere close by that we can do that. Maybe we'll get lucky and give us a turn signal here. Come on, come on, give me a turn, give me a turn, give me a turn. It's not gonna do it. The Walgreens over there looks pretty good. Look down the road with the Walmart. <laughs> hey, that's a yellow, which means we should be getting. Yes, we do. Let's go. Now it's almost 2 o'clock a.m. Low recruitment agency. Wow, you're taking us through the residential area here. Waking up everybody. Okay, now I think we have a weird maneuver we gotta do to get in here. Oh. Uh, nope, we're gonna be coming in on the right here. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be up on the sidewalk a little bit. Now, let's play it safe as normal. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm a little turned around here. I think we need to go straight and take out the corner of the fence. Uh, that garage door right there. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, that's it. Make it in without hitting. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. And stop. Perfect. I mean, did I say perfect? I mean, good enough. Yeah, just show me that crap now. All right, now let's see what we've got here in Ontario. Uh, 
no, we're not going to use these yet. Go freight market. And we're in Ontario. Now we can go over to Cheyenne, Wyoming. Probably carry on with those prepads we just dropped off. Uh, Barstow, no. No. Back in Oregon. Uh, to a place we haven't been yet. That, that could be tempting. What I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to save it here. Y'all let me know where you think I should go. Because it's not going in the direction I want to go except for Cheyenne and it's a little bit too far south. So in the comment section below, either give me uh, one of these destinations that you might have seen. I'll go through them again here. And, or you can just tell me to sleep it off and then come back. And I'm fine with that. And if I get no comments whatsoever, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, if you want me to go to any of these destinations, put it in the comment section below. If you like this video, Make sure you give it a th great big thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe to the channel. There's more than just uh, American Truck Simulator. Um, you, but you probably know that because you watch, you probably watch the other videos of Mudrunner. So, until the next time, guys, catch y'all later.